This is Marco Wu from GeeProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about uh, some type of machine learning today. The first is the K-mean clustering. The second is the cluster tree. Now, first of all, I'm going to create some data, random data. The difference between k-mean clustering and cluster tree is k-mean clustering you preset how many data how many different group in the data now when I'm generating generating the data set but in the analysis I will I will have to set how many data group I predict into the analysis okay now, on the other hand, cluster tree is different. You don't have to set how many uh, data group in the data. The cluster tree will do it for you. But you will need to set another term called threshold. It's a how sensitive should it be to classify it to be a group of data. Now, I have already finished uh, set up those like five groups of data. Okay, now I combine all the data together. The size of all data is 2,500 rows and two columns. So basically it is two, 2,500 data points on a 2D pane. Now, I'm going to port the data. When I port the data, you will have the idea how does the data set looks like. That is one out of five. And then I'm going to repeat it with different colors. So when I generate the random data, it's five different groups. Now, this is the IDX equal to K means all data, five, all data is my data set. Five is five groups. IDX will return the index of um, of each data point. So I have 2,500 data points, and then now I put the index on their corresponding location. Just now, you saw the pot is five different group with five different color. Now I put the index from the k-means on the corresponding location if it is white then like each group will be like query separate with each other and then no other numbers within that group okay so let's see okay so that is how it looks like Now, second thing is cluster tree. The syntax is p this. Okay. Now, I need to use the other function called language. I set the threshold equal to one point two. Okay. Now, t is equal to cluster. And I said the cutoff is equal to the threshold. Okay, so all this is the syntax, the necessary syntax.
and if I do the 2500 pounds I make the pot okay you can see all of them are equal to one it's because the factual value is too too large now I change the factual value to a smaller value let's say equal to one I repeat the same statement I put again now you see it's a very messy because the factual is very small if your research or engineering projects are falling behind eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget let us know what you need you'll find relief here visit eeprogrammer.com we can help you